Hi, and uh, welcome to my first Let's Play, which will be a uh, Ghost Squad. So, um, let's load it up. Ghost Squad. Uh, this Let's Play will be about four to five parts, I think. I did a practice run before; it was about four or five parts somewhere there. Um, Ghost Squad is a um, on rails first person shooter, which is a remake of the arcade version of Ghost Squad. So it's not a very long game since it's a remake of an arcade game. And that's probably its only downside, otherwise it's a pretty good game. It's pretty fun, so... I will be using the Wii Zapper and I'll go through the controls in a second. Just gotta quickly set some options, which I probably should have done off camera. But, hopefully no one minds. Just gotta make sure I've got the Wii Zapper as my controls. You don't have to play with the Wii Zapper. Yeah, Wii Zapper, there we go. Alright, you got three modes. Party, Training, Arcade. Arcade's the main mode, and that's what we'll be playing. Party mode is for multiplayer, and training mode's just training, so... I won't go into much detail on those two. Alright, so you load your profile. You can do a bit of customization, where you can, um, pick your weapon and pick your outfit. I'll leave everything default, and you can choose if you want to have your aim reticle on or off. I want to have it on, because I'm... I'm not good with it when the reticle's not there, so... Alright, here's how you play. So, the B button on the Wiimote is how you shoot. You can also use the A button, but I don't see the point. B button's better. Uh, you can use a nunchuck to change your mode of fire. The gun I'm using has semi-auto, a three-shot burst, and the rapid fire, which you just saw there on the screen. The action button, which is the Z button on the nunchuck, does a few other actions like defusing bombs, uh... Uh, it's used in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and um, I'll, well, I'll tell you when we get to them where the action button's used. Alright, so we've got three levels, so that's why the game's short, there's only three levels. Uh, each, um, each mission, sorry, three missions. Each mission has, uh, uh, it goes up to level nine, I think, but I've only gotten up to six, so I can't really confirm that. I want to play them on level one, just because it's easier. Obviously, the higher the level, the harder the mission is. So we'll start on mission one. Mission one. And uh we'll begin. Just trying to think of any other controls. Yeah, okay. To reload you just gotta point your uh, the Wii Zapper away from the TV screen, like you would at the arcades, I guess. Uh if you notice that um press the plus button flashing there in the bottom right, it's going to do that for the whole game. That's because uh, you have an uh, option of having a second player help you out for cooperative play. This game does have replayability value because um, when you uh, do a level there's different paths you can take. I mean they all lead to the same end but it's still replayability value. I mean, let me rephrase it. You can still replay the game a few times and get different gameplay. And I'll I'll explain it when I get to it. You can predict where most of the enemies are, but for example, just on that part there where I shot those two guys, if you played on a higher level, a guy with a shield appears, and he's obviously harder to kill because he's got a shield. Right, so this is the uh, different paths you can take. I can control the first floor and save hostages, or defuse a time bomb. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, enemies on the left. Oh, I missed him. Alright. Alright, time bomb. Yellow, blue, and red. Alright. I don't know why he couldn't tell me when I got to the bomb, but whatever. Oh. Oh, no, I got him. What was it? Yellow, blue, red, that's right. This is where you use the action button to cut these wires, which is Z on the nunchuck. So, what was it? Yellow, blue, red. You get 15 seconds to do it. On the higher levels, you get less time, but it's not like... It's not too stressful to do it, you just have to cut three wires. The bomb has been deactivated. Proceed with the mission. Alright, let's continue. Metal. Yeah, metal. 
Uh, you get a medal when you shoot an opponent that's hard to get. And normally p opponents that just run past the screen very fast. And a medal just give you more points, really. There are also power-ups, which when I get to them... Like when you shoot random objects, like that computer down there, it'll drop a power-up. Then when you shoot the power-up, whenever I get to see it again, you get it. Uh, Oh, that guy was a medal. I missed him. See, there, there's a power up. I got a dot sight. Oh! Dot sight's uh, useless unless you're playing without the reticle. Because then the dot sight, it gives you a reticle. So, that's what the dot sight's really for. Well, I got shot before because I was uh, not paying attention. But you can tell when an enemy's about to shoot you because they get like a, a red reticle around them. Uh, when we see another one, I'll show you what I mean. Um, no, nothing really. That guy there, he had a red ridicule. He was about to shoot me. So you gotta shoot those guys first before they get you. Alright, area clear. Does, that doesn't mean the level's over, it's just that area. The missions aren't that short, so... Alright, let's continue. There's a metal guy just over there. Got it. I haven't memorized where all the medals are, just some of them I have. Alright. Uh, you may have noticed my reticle has changed back from the dot sight. So obviously if I was playing without the reticle, I wouldn't have one at the moment. Uh, favorite part is I get to shoot these boxes of fruit. Which is always fun. Alright, gotta be careful around this corner because there's a hostage. That guy. You shoot him, you lose health. Simple as that. There's another one there. Whoa. I really want to shoot that fruit. There we go. Well, when it says good shot, it's because you shot them in the head. And when it says quick shot, it's because you shot them as soon as you saw them. So. High cap magazine. That just uh, gives you more bullets before you have to reload. Oh, metal! I don't know if you saw that, but it said metal, so... And I got a first aid kit. Everyone knows what a first aid kit does. Whoa! Those guys are my teammates, by the way. Guy will slide right in front of me. Yeah, idiot. You may have noticed I'm not really changing my mode of fire, I'm just sticking to burst fire. So I can do single shot. And I can do that rapid fire. You don't have unlimited rapid fire, but while you're using it, you don't have to reload like that. Oh, cost me a hit. Alright, area clear. There's rapid fire, I got 150 bullets of rapid fire. Alright. Uh, what else is there to say quickly? Uh, if I remember, I'll remember to say it. I'll probably even repeat myself at some stage. Right, i got to pause it here because I'm approaching my 10 minute limit I've got for YouTube. So, um, that's the end of this part. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part.